what is up ladies and gentlemen i just got back from work and today's the day this is it this is the greatest day of ever the greatest day of ever yeah that works uh so i came back from work and i had a little package waiting for me well i say little package it's not so little um shipped to me from if we could focus here ship to me there we go Okay, shipped to me from Amazon. Um, I don't know why they put Amazon Prime on the tape. I just guess it's just advertising. I'm not a Prime member. Maybe one day. But, I'm sure as you can tell by the title of the video. Wow, this thing's massive. Oops, sorry, hit the mic. Fallout 4, Pit Boy Edition. Set that off to the side here for a second while I get rid of the box. Okay. Fallout 4 Pip Boy Edition for the, oops, the PC. Rated M for Mature by Bethesda. For Vault 111 deployment, uh, Pip M4.5486 VTT. Dot 004.111. Oh, not dots. Dashes. Uh, personal information processor. Then, of course, we have over here the 111 logo, and it says open this way up. Then, uh, on the top here, we have Fallout 4 Pit Boy Edition. Nothing on the bottom. Why do we keep losing focus? There we go. And then on the back, we have the picture of the power armor that we've all seen. We have what comes inside, but we don't need to look at that yet. Uh, and it tells you what comes inside. we got some pictures, PC system requirements, uh, minimum recommended. And then up here we have Welcome Home. Bethesda Game Studios, the award-winning creators of Fallout 3 and Skyrim, welcome you to the most ambitious game ever and the next generation of open-world gaming. As a sole survivor of Vault 111, you enter the world destroyed by nuclear. You enter a world destroyed by nuclear war. Every second is a fight for survival, and every choice is yours. Only you can rebuild and determine the fate of the wasteland. The Pit Boy holds a variety of smartphones and is the ultimate accessory for the official Pit Boy companion app that allows you to manage your in-game inventory, hollow tapes, and more. So, sorry, I just need to. Grab my blade, because there's some tape on here. Uh, shortly after they announced the Pit Boy Edition at their E3 press conference, which is also not where they unveiled Fallout 4, but where they actually like sh showed it off. They showed quite a bit actually. I just rewatched it again the other day. So here we have it. Um, Part of it was already open there for some reason. So we squeeze that and then lift up like that. And there we have it. So the first thing we have here on top is, of course, the coup de gras, the game itself, in a steel book. A lot of questions were raised about. Oh, it actually is a disc. Well, I can't believe it only one disc so. so here we have some advertisements season pass uh, doom and dishonored 2 and then on the back uh, Elder Scrolls online ad and we have the vault tech perk poster it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be I don't want to zoom in because then we're going to lose focus again, but, uh, there's, uh, strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, luck. This spell is special, if you know anything about Fallout. And then there's levels, there's ten levels of each, and it just shows the Vault Boy rendition of that perk. It doesn't actually list the perk. Uh, Vault Life has its perks, it says at the bottom. Vault Tech logo at the top. Okay. As I get a Snapchat. 
So there's the inside of the case. This is the front of the case. I just realized I didn't show you that. Oh, it's actually like a pop-out logo. That's nice. Um, yeah, a lot of talk was uh, going on on Amazon. Just behind the disc. This is the actual disc. About... Oh, when they ship the game on PC, is it is it going to be a disc or is it just going to give you a code? A lot of people said it was just going to be a code, so I was expecting a code because I don't order a lot of physical PC games. Um, so it's I don't know, it's weird to see it on a disc. Um, oh, but now that I think about it, it did say that it was shipping on a disc. Oh, see, I, that didn't even click in my mind before. It shipped on a disc, but it did. It doesn't. The whole game isn't on the disc, um, if that makes any sense, because it's a DVD, and it only holds like I think like nine gigs. Uh, so you you install the disc and what's on it, and then I guess through Steam maybe they uh, do the rest of like the 25 gigs or so. Um, so yeah. Nice little steel book. And then we have some Vault Dweller Survival Guides Condensed Edition. So this is pretty much just, uh, oh, we have a game registration code. Let's see what that's all about. I wonder if I put that in on Steam, if it would just, so I don't have to use the disk. Help reduce the risk of photosensitive seizures, yada yada yada, and then it shows the game controls there if you use keyboard and mouse. Um, we're here to help you survive and thrive. To access the in-game help menu, press the escape key and then select help. So I guess the rest of the manual is like everything else these days, it's uh it's in the game. It's a digital manual. Then we have the Pit Boy operational instructions. Which, I mean, for setup instructions, see pages 12 through 33, pages 1 through 11, and 34 through 37 of this manual are works of fiction. Oh, that's cool. So it's actually like lore based. And then it shows you, like, how to set it up and everything. But it actually has like some fictional like lore pages in there. That's nice. That's pretty awesome. Good job on that, Bethesda. Uh, and then I guess next is just the big boy here. We also have the stand for it. Like I said, I don't want to zoom in on anything here, but uh, I can read it off to you. Pit Boy Model 3000 Mark IV by Robco. Manufactured by Robco Industries for dis distribution by Vault Tech Corp, not for civilian use. Um, I was kind of hoping they were like numbered. That would have been cool. I'm sure this is what my Pit Boy will be sitting on most of the time since I have a Galaxy Note Edge and uh, that sadly does not fit. Uh, inside of here. So these are the... I don't even know if I should open these. These are for the iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, uh, Galaxy S3, um, S4, probably S5. Uh, these are just the foam pads to use with your cell phone in the Pip-Boy. Um, but like I said, I already know mine's not going to fit. I've already announced that. So there's no point in Going through that. So how do we open up this part? Give me a quick second here, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure this out. We have a tab here with the batteries and the lights come on there as you can see we can take that stuff out this is just an insert you can see that and it has one of those IR tags probably to send you to the app for use with your smartphone
smartphone. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so. I want to. Make it kind of hard to grab this Velcro here. thought about when I saw like the pictures of this thing you know right after they right after I ordered it I ordered it the day it was announced I wasn't gonna wait around and the people that did wait around uh, missed out sadly um, but I've thought about like trying to like mod it to fit my phone I just I don't feel like it's worth doing that to be honest with you Actually, it does fit my enormous hand here. Oh, is that how it's? Okay, well, I'm missing something. thing is way, way bigger than I thought it was going to be. There we go. Okay. So it kind of goes up and then in. Okay. So as you can see here, it's actually pretty comfortable. I'm not going to lie. It's a little hefty. It's kind of got some weight to it, but I mean, it's made of plastic, so it's not, you know, anything like crazy. Um, this kind of does make me <laughs> wish that my cell phone would work with it um, got all the necessary knobs here yeah I don't know how well you guys can hear that it's got the lights here that oh you can just oh it's the power button okay so you have a light up here right there on top then you have the light here that's the power button you just hit that and it goes off it does have a battery built into it. Not built in. It's the like a watch battery. Um, the small ones. And uh, yeah, this is pretty sick, man. I like this. Like I said, it makes me wish that my cell phone did fit in this. I might think about wearing it. Just sitting here with the controller. Oh, yeah. oh man, I need a stem pack. Okay. Because it, it, the app works with the game. As long as you're on your network, you know, hook your phone up to the Wi-Fi, and then just play online, and you're good. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's there's no way that my phone's gonna be able to fit inside of this thing. It's it's way too big. As you can see, that's the width that it would be. And I mean, I'm trying to do this one handed here. Here, let me just take it off real quick. That'll be easier to show you. It's not, if I'm not doing it one handed. I'm already sitting about 14 minutes into this video. So, That's the size of the phone that can fit, and then you put the inserts in. However, my phone is too large. So I thought about modding it. Um, at one point, I was, you know, thinking, thinking about taking like this whole faceplate part off, and then just. Maybe putting some Velcro on the back of my phone, some Velcro right there, and just sticking it on there. Um, in the end, decided not to. Um, this thing is just, you know, it's too awesome to do that too. Um, like I said, it'll, it's probably just gonna stay on here 
on the base. I'll just set it up. I'm a Pit Boy Edition owner. And show it off to people. It's like I showed, I can't actually wear it. Um, so it it'll literally fit anybody. Um, but if you have a smaller phone, like if I if I would have kept my S4 instead of selling that to get my new phone, then that would have fit in here perfect. Uh, and I could have used that over the Wi-Fi. But yeah. So I believe that that is it for all the stuff that is in here. I think so. Yeah, it's just foam now. Um, I'm actually going to leave the foam in there. Because this is pretty sick. Yeah, that's a pretty badass box. Um, might end up uh, leaving the pit boy in here too. Just so it doesn't get all dusty. And, you know, since I'm not going to be wearing it. with my uh, GTA 5 collector's edition up there. Uh, I wore the Los Santos hat that came with it for like a week. And then after that it was just like I'm just going to put this back in the plastic that it came in and put it back in the box. Oh, console your overseer. I did miss this because the plastic thing was on here. Does not contain radioactive materials. Does not emit alpha, beta, or gamma rays. So no turning into the Hulk. Sorry, Bruce. Uh, consult your overseer for more information or refer to the enclosed operational instructions. Fits most human arms. If it's going to fit my arm, I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't fit pretty much everybody. You would have to be a pretty, pretty oversized individual for this thing to not fit you. It might not be comfortable, but it's going to fit. So... I would say that uh, <laughs> that would help people that were on the fence about buying this thing, but at this point, if you didn't already buy it, you probably aren't going to find it anywhere. Uh, this thing sold out in about, say, less than a half hour when it was first put up on Amazon. And then, hello? Oh, no, that's not true. As we try to refocus here. Really? Really? I gotta figure this out. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Casualty. Come on, mouse. There we go. Yeah, that actually made it refocus. Nice. Uh, maybe that's a secret. Maybe I should just drop it more often. Uh, GameStop, right before the game launched put up on their website um, like a complete edition for all three systems. Um, it came with the Pip-Boy edition as well as the guide. The The guide was like 60 bucks. It was like the collector's guide. Not the just the hardback, but like the collector's version that Bethesda released that came with like a cover for the book and then like a whole bunch of artwork and stuff like that. Uh, I think that went for like 190. They might still be selling it. Yeah, I've checked the website. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I know it's a long one. Um, thinking about picking up the Fallout anthology for a PC that comes with like the mini nuke, um, so you can expect that unboxing sometime, probably this month. Um, we'll see. It all depends. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I mean, fuck, it's finally time. Let's go explore that wasteland. So, I'll catch you guys later, and hope you guys have a great one.